the bamboo ribbing stitch. Hi, I'm Kristen and welcome back to my channel, Studio Knit. This bamboo ribbing stitch adds depth and dimension to your knitting project with a simple series of knits and purls. It's a great choice for beginner level knitters. A simple combination of alternating knit and purl stitches creates a ribbed effect that looks like bamboo stalks. And you'll see that it's not a reversible pattern because both sides of your work, the right and wrong sides, they are not identical. You can see here the bamboo stock is displayed on the front of our piece. However, on the back side, it looks like little vertical squiggles. Since this is primarily a stockinette stitch, which typically curls, I suggest either blocking your knitting or adding a border to help it lie flat. I'm also including knitting the bamboo rib stitch in the round on circular needles. It's just a simple adjustment to the even numbered rows. For our materials, use any yarn of your choice along with appropriately sized knitting needles. You'll also want to have scissors and a tapestry needle on hand. If you like this stitch, please like up this video. And in the comments, why don't you let me know what project ideas you have using this new bamboo ribbing stitch. So let's knit it up. To begin, we are casting on in multiples of 12 stitches. So we cast on 12 and we continue casting on a series of 12 stitches until your piece is the width that you desire. I am casting on three multiples of 12 for a total of 36 stitches here. Beginning on the right side of our work, row one is purling two stitches and knitting four stitches. So we're repeating the pattern between the asterisks, P2 and K4 on the wrong side of our work. It's purling four stitches and knitting two stitches and continue knitting this series all the way down the row. Rows three and four, totally identical. And here we have our four by two ribbing stitch. We're beginning the texture here on row five. So we have P8, that's purling eight stitches, and K4, knitting four stitches. So P8, K4, all the way down the row. And row six, we are purling the pearls, knitting the knits. So it is purl four and knit eight. Rows seven, eight, nine, and 10 are totally identical to how we began with rows one through four. So we're creating that four by two rib stitch. Very, very simple. And to finish up, we're adding alternating texture for those bamboo stalks. And row 11, we have P2, K4, P6. On row 12, the series is knit six, purl four, and knit two. Once you've completed this row, continue knitting until your piece is the length you desire. And if you'd like to give this a try on circular needles, I have the written pattern available for you over on my website. Again, it's also just a series of knits and purls, and the only difference is exactly how we are knitting the even rows. As always, you can get your printable written pattern totally for free over on my website at Studio Knit. If you love easy knitting like this, please check out my Knit Stitch Pattern Book. It's available in both print and digital formats, and you will receive a total of 50 additional easy knit and purl stitch patterns. I hope you are inspired to give the bamboo ribbing stitch a try, and if the bamboo stitch sounds familiar to you, I have a different texture. It is more of an intermediate pattern because we are adding in yarn overs. It also resembles stalks of bamboo, and it's a really fun one with only a two row repeat, so it's very easy to memorize. Please go check that one out, and I will see you there.